Hello friends, wizards, witches, and muggles. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. I wasn't expecting to film this anytime soon, but we're we're revisiting the official Wizarding World loot crate to see if they have improved. I have not unboxed these for three years because I I had to say goodbye to them. They weren't filling me with much joy. So let's see if they've improved. If you wanna see what's inside and the overall experience, then keep on watching. And if you're brand new to my channel, hello, welcome. Don't forget you can click the subscribe button if you like to become part of our weird, magical online family. But let's go, cause um, I ordered this in November. Okay then guys, so here we have it, the official Wizarding World loot crate. I did buy this myself with my own Gringotts coins, my sickles, my nuts, my galleons. So this box cost me £29.30 and this is the transportation box, it's Magical Department of, no, the Department of Magical Transportation and it also came with a rather large welcome box. It's a complete mystery to what is inside here. Now, interestingly, since I quit filming the Loot Crate boxes about three years ago now, I think my last one was on the 28th of October, 2018. I haven't even watched any Loot Crates, so I don't know if they've improved, but I wanted to check it out for myself. I remember when these first launched, they were amazing. Their enamel pins were incredible. Does anyone remember the kind of original Horcrux pin collection? They're some of my favorite pins in my pin collection to date, but then things slowly started to go downhill. I have no idea why. Their boxes were months and months and months and months late and the quality just kind of went to the point where I felt like I was opening a box for a very young child. Now these are collector's crates. They don't have an age limit to them and I guess I just want to see if they've improved because we've been away from these boxes for so long. Okay, so I actually had this idea to film this video back in November, <laughs> November 2020. <laughs> and that is when I ordered this box. It's been a while, I forgot that it was coming because it's been so long. So yes, I ordered this in November and then I knew that it was due to be shipped, I think January 2021. So I knew that there was at least one month's wait well, it's March now, isn't it? <laughs> in 2021. So it did take quite a long time to get here. And I must say the experience with their customer service and their shipping was not good. I reached out to them because the tracking that I got given just wasn't working, that it was providing me with no information. So I got in contact with their customer service team and they did reply. It took a few days, but they did reply. And they just gave me a look. They were making me kind of go around in circles and they were saying that, oh, Oh, the tracking will work when you get to your second scan. And I was like, okay, what second scan? When and where is this second scan? Like, can you not track the box? You should know where my box is. <laughs> and it just got really frustrating. So I just kind of left it and hoped for the best. And eventually this March, it did turn up towards the latter half of March, <laughs> but it's here and I have it. It's really weird because it's been so long since I've opened one of these. So I guess the next step is unboxing. So let's get to it. Okay then, I have got my trusty box opening tool over here. It's always a shame to cut through these stickers. Not so much this one. I'm not as obsessed with this one, but usually their stickers are really, really pretty and they're quite nice to peel off and keep. So this is a sticker which says MDT, uh, which stands for Department of Magical Transportation. I feel as though they should have put like the D at the top, but details. Okay, let's open it. I'm actually quite nervous. I'm quite nervous. It's been so long. I'm just like, I hope they've improved. I'm going into this blind, um, but let's see. Okay, so yeah, transportation themed. Okay then, so let's open this on up. Okay, yes, that is one thing that I do remember from these crates is that their boxes are pretty cool because they're reversible and you can flip them inside out and use them as storage boxes. So here it says, it's here, the Nimbus 2000. Please inquire within. Um, and then it's also got like Nimbus 2001 on here. So yes, it's the blueprint of brooms. We've got some broomstick handles here and I guess we'll see the rest of the pattern once we've opened stuff up. So the first thing in here is a Quidditch scarf. Now I do have Many, many Harry Potter scarves, especially a Gryffindor one because that is my Hogwarts house. 
So here it is. Let's see what is different about this one. I've had a lot of Gryffindor scarves over the years. I have many, many different patterns, many different materials. And yeah, so here we have it. We have got a H for Hogwarts, which is the more kind of modern H that they use. But we also do have some broomsticks down here, which I'm assuming is the Nimbus 2000. This is quite nicely made. It does have an official tag on there. It's the same both sides. It's just a scarf. I mean, I feel as though it's a scarf. I do like it, but we've seen a lot of these and I'm pretty sure I've even received some of these scarves in previous loot crates, perhaps. So I think the, the transportation theme, they've just put some like Quidditch broomsticks on it. But either way, it's very nicely made. Do I need another one? No, I don't. But if I hadn't have had any scarves previously, would I be happy with this item? Honestly, probably yes, because these kind of scarves are good for cosplay and it's just nicely woven. It doesn't feel cheap. It feels just like a nice scarf, really. So nothing majorly special to say about it. <sighs> just seen something and it is exciting. Let me just decrinkle. It's the night bus tin. We've got all destinations, nothing underwater. It's got the night bus on the front with its little little wheels and it says old 717. Um, I'm assuming this is just, yeah, it's a, it's a storage tin. It's quite a nice idea. It feels a little bit rickety and not the thickest kind of tin, but it's quite a nice idea. This would be cute if you're making cookies or something and you need somewhere to store them because tins are great for that. Or if you've got a pin collection and you've got like a pin board or something, I always take my backing cards off my pins and all of the little clasps to put them on boards. This would be good to store those backing cards because I don't like throwing them out. They're always quite nice to keep. Quite a nice little idea, gotta say. Okay, next up we have got what appears to be a coin purse which says Hogwarts Railway on it. So it's quite a simple black coin purse. It has just been printed on the top here and it says Department of Magical Transportation and all the kind of licensee bits and bobs on the back. Um, yeah, it's got a little, it's got a little thing inside doesn't wow me. I feel like towards the end of me unboxing these previously, there was a lot of, you've just stuck like a graphic onto something and it hasn't had too much thought put into it. Like, yes, it says Hogwarts Railways and Hogwarts Railways is transportation, but on a coin purse, I feel like they could have got a lot more creative with the kind of train vibe for this box. But either way, it is handy. Am I gonna keep this item? Probably not. Am I gonna keep any of these items so far? There's nothing that makes me go, that's got to go on my shelf. And I feel as though that's quite an important factor when opening these kind of boxes for me because I can't keep everything. It's the nature of my job. You guys see how many boxes that I do open. Anything that I don't keep, I do end up giving to charity, specifically the British Heart Foundation. That's my personal choice of charity. So yeah, I mean, eh, don't really, not a big fan. Okay, let's, we're gonna come back to the pin because that's always used to be the exciting thing. Okay, this is an item where I'm like, yes, that is a cool idea. And this is the kind of stuff that I always expected. So this is a luggage tag, but it has a muggle-worthy switch on it. This is super cool. So this is a Fantastic Beasts product and it's got, oh no. Oh, sorry, I thought that was a flap. I've definitely just ripped that off. I Don't make something look like a flap if it's not meant to be flapped. It's fine. I can glue that back together. That was that was my fault, not theirs, I don't think. But I was like, oh, it's a flap to get your details into the back of here because you have to write your name, your address, and your telephone number on there. But no, you actually do that via the little thing in the side. Um, oh, I'm really annoyed that I've done that. But either way, this is made out of metal. It's quite nicely cast. It's nice and neat. We've got some rivets at the side. We've got a really nice kind of thick, chunky, it's kind of like a luggage tag belt thing to attach to your suitcases. I really like that. And that has made me go, oh, that's cool. I, I do like it. I think that's my favorite thing in the crate so far. But we have two more items to go. They've done it. They've made a usable pink umbrella. 
they've made a Hagrid's umbrella. I think it's got a pattern on the inside. I know it's really unlucky to open umbrellas inside, but we're gonna do it. Ah, oh, that's quite cute. Look at the inside, we've got Hagrid going. <laughs> I really like this. We've got Hagrid and Harry on the flying motorbike going past the moon and it's just quite nice. And then we've got just pink on the outside, which is very, very Hagrid. I like it. I kind of wish it was, I know it wouldn't have fit in the crate. I, I understand the kind of design idea with this one because they needed a collapsible umbrella, but if they'd made this. Thing is, Noble Collection, who make all of the official Wizarding World products, they came out with a beautiful Hagrid's umbrella. In fact, let me, let me show you. Wee. <sighs> So here we have it, Noble Collection, the official makers of the Wizarding World replicas made a gorgeous Hagrid's umbrella slash wand replica. It's got a metal tip. We've got the wand handle, which is made out of a really nice quality resin. The paint job on it is actually really lush. We've got your metal thingies, but this has never been usable, which I think is such an oversight. I feel as though they should have made this usable. I know it's a replica and it's a prop, but imagine walking around with this, with your Hagrid's umbrella and, oh, it starts raining. Let me just put my umbrella up. This isn't waterproof and it's always made me pretty sad. I've always kind of wanted to DIY it to make it look a little, well, not look a little, I want to make it more practical. That's what I'm trying to say. But imagine if they'd, yeah, done this with this, just maybe not for the loot crate, but I understand why they have made it small. But if you don't have one of these and you want a practical umbrella that is kind of haggardy, this will solve all your problems. It's kind of cute. I do like it. It's a bit of a novelty. Wasn't expecting one of those in the crate, so that's pretty cool. Let's have a look at what pins they're doing these days because they were some of the most sought after pins back in the day. As I said previously, they did a whole Horcrux collection. They did like a Nagini's head and it had like a Gryffindor sword that went through it, but it was interactive. You could take the sword out. They had a beautiful diadem. They just, oh, everything was, oh, and the Hufflepuff cup. It was just beautiful. But then they started going pretty downhill. Don't know what the theme of this, if they even have like a collection of themes anymore. With Horcruxes, you had to collect, I think it was like seven or something. But is this gonna be like a singular pin on its own? or is it part of a collection that's already out there? Maybe you guys know, maybe you guys already subscribe to this, but let's have a look. It says magical places. So I think they do have a theme. It says magical places, platform nine and three quarters. It is a hard enamel pin. And on the back, there are two clasps, which are the metal ones. Um, the card backings are nice. I remember these used to not be soft touch. It used to just be a nice card, but yep. So they've upgraded those a little bit. Does it wow me like the original pins? No, it's a fairly simple design. Um, Hedwig, is meant to be looking up at the sign, but it kind of has made him look like he doesn't have any pupils. <laughs> is it made nicely? Yes, it is. I just remember, like, I kind of want to go back and watch some of my old Loot Crate videos because I just remember the amount of joy that I used to get from opening their pins. I would open it and I'd be like, oh my God, like, they used to be incredible. And now it's just like, ah, uh, yeah, a square pin, platform, yeah, uh. Like, what do you guys think of this pin? Um, does it wow you? It doesn't have the wow factor for me personally. So yeah, overall, I'm just not wowed by it. I really, really wanted to be wowed by it, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Does this pen do it for you? For all you pin collectors out there, does it make you go, ooh, because, it didn't for me, it fell a little bit flat. But either way, I'd love to hear your thoughts because obviously that is just my personal preference. Let's have a look at their cheat sheet. How many items have we got? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Here is the cheat sheet. They look exactly the same like they used to. It's kind of like a, a dark Hogwarts acceptance letter with a, a blank wax seal. Let's open it all up. So here we have it, the Department of Magical Transportation. Gear up to travel the wizarding world, whether by broom, train, or flying car, go on a journey with this adventurous crate. So yes, in this crate, we had six items. They're all official and fully licensed by the Wizarding World. This is their official crate. So depending on what your house would have been, you would have got a different colored scarf. They are quite nice. I really wish I was a Ravenclaw because I really like the colors of that. So same with slip. I like them all. Yes, we had the umbrella, the tin. You've, you've seen it all. 
so let's have a little look. So everything starred is exclusively made for this crate. You cannot get it anywhere else. They always used to do this, but it's quite funny because they're all starred. So just say that all the items are. <laughs> um, so it says, Hagrid's motorbike umbrella. Go on a rainy day motorbike adventure with this item inspired by Hagrid's pink umbrella. I wouldn't be putting up an umbrella if I was on a motorbike. It was like, <laughs> But yes, then we had the Nimbus Hogwarts house scarf. Grab your broomstick and fly away in this cozy scarf in your house colors. It is a cozy scarf. I'll give them that. Then it's the night bus lunch tin. Okay, so this is to take to school, maybe. I personally don't eat my lunch in a tin or need to take it into a tin. I've just noticed that the print on the bottom is just... Stick out your wand and hail the fabled night bus. And then we had the Hogwarts... Oh, it's a headphones pouch. I have no headphones that would fit in this pouch. <laughs> I feel like they should have called it a coin purse. If you were the person that had like your stereotypical kind of very common Apple wired headphones, absolutely they would fit in here. But assuming that everybody has those. Hmm. It says go on a musical journey with this case for easy headphone storage. I can see it being useful if I use those kind of headphones, but I don't. But either way, it's a little case. Many uses. Muggle-worthy luggage tag. I really liked this before I ripped it to shreds. So here is the muggle-worthy luggage tag in my hands. After thinking a little bit about it, why haven't they stitched this? They've put like the tiniest bit of glue down there. Um, I thought it was like Velcro or something. It didn't take much strength as you saw, but for something that's gonna potentially be attached to suitcases, and we all know how airlines treat <laughs> luggage. They're like throwing them around. This would get utterly destroyed. But either way, yeah, I love the look of it. I just feel like, I don't understand why they didn't sew it down. Either way, so it says, enjoy this luggage tag worthy of Newt Scamander's suitcase. Hopefully his suitcase doesn't get us bashed around. Last, but certainly not least, is the platform nine and three quarters pin. And it says, board the Hogwarts Express with the next pin in our Magical Places continuity series. Continuity series, interesting term. I mean, it's a hard enamel pin. It's very nicely made. All of their pins always have been, but in fact, no, some of their pins have been terrible. I remember one in particular that I think was meant to be a doe Patronus and it was like really sunken in with like pearlescent enamel and it just did not look like a Patronus. It looked awful and it was like really chunky. This is a lot better than that. I'll give them that. But either way, it doesn't wow me, but it's a pin. I'd love to see what other pins that they've come out with in the series to see if they're better than this one or not. Either way, so we have come to the end of our crate. We've got the cheat sheet, we've read through it. How do I feel about it? Honestly, I feel as though it's very hit and miss. I feel as though a lot of it's like, eh. I think there was maybe two items in this crate that I liked the idea of. The umbrella, I like it, it's practical, I can use it. I like the design. It is something that would fit in my handbag. Do I wish that they'd just made the replica wand of Hagrid's waterproof? Yes, yes I do. The other thing that I like, but I am a little bit disappointed about is this. I love the aesthetic of it. I think it looks fantastic. I think, again, practical item. I have some magical luggage tags like this on my suitcase already, because I'm just a big fan of them when traveling to magical places. But I am a bit sad that, <laughs> Because we all know that we have to get inside a luggage tag and I did think that that was the way in. I feel as though they just sh should have stitched it so that I couldn't make that mistake. Anyone else that has this crate or got this crate received it if it's arrived, did you make the same mistakes as me or am I just a bit silly? Will I be purchasing this crate again to do on this channel? Probably not, if I'm completely honest, but I did let my subscription roll over. So I have another one coming, which I guess we'll probably see in about four months. I don't know what the the theme is for that. Do you want me to film it just to make sure that they are still not fabulous? Let me know. I will film it if you want me to, but it's not gonna be an entire series like it used to be. But either way, let me know in the comments. What did you honestly think of this crate? What items were a flop for you? What items were a hit for you? Do you think that they have improved over the last three years? I don't know. I don't think so. But I will say it's not as bad as, I think it was like a back to Hogwarts 
trunk it was a back to hogwarts crate that started to put me off things back in the day it's not as bad as that one there are things that i like in it there are some cute ideas in it everything most things are good quality even though i ripped that off the actual setting itself like the metal thing it's nice before i leave you you thought that i forgot the welcome box didn't you i did <laughs> if i had a brain i would be dangerous i don't know what's in here it was just called welcome box okay i feel welcomed i'm just like what are they putting in the welcome boxes is this gonna be previous items for those that are subscribed to this box or have watched a lot of these unboxings for the official wisdom world ones let me know if you recognize any of these items i am intrigued it feels like a way to get rid of stock okay so we don't have a pretty box for this there's nothing printed on it it's just black it's like they they don't really care that much to welcome you but let's have a look um oh this isn't even wizarding world stuff what this is so old stock let's go through it anyway but this is a magical that is not what i was expecting i was like oh a welcome box to the wizarding world nice no it's just like a welcome to loot crate box so we have got a castle dice tower and it's dungeons and dragons now i'm not gonna lie i have always wanted to play dungeons and dragons i just think it sounds so cool if anyone knows like websites of how to get started playing that i know some of my friends play it i know brizzy plays dungeons and dragons so here it is i have a little dice which goes up to i believe it's a 20 sided dice or die um and you can put it into the little turret and whee! so we've got a snapback cap i don't know this character i kind of like the design on it if i knew what it was it would probably be quite nice so we've got sonic the hedgehog pin it's um soft enamel because it's sunken in um i don't recognize it as sonic he looks a little bit cyborgish don't really know this character is it actually meant to be sonic or is it some i don't know enough are these bugs bunny socks they are they're looney tune socks it's quite cute I do like Looney Tunes. We've got a bottle opener, which honestly, actually quite handy. Um, this is a Pac-Man bottle opener. This can definitely go in my kitchen. It says game over on one of the sides. We have got a vinyl minifigure and it's Street Fighter. I have no idea who he's meant to be or what this is. I will say that giving this to someone that thought it was a wizarding world welcome pack which i think would have gone down a treat i don't know any of this stuff except like maybe pac-man and you know i got a dice out of it there's still more stuff in here and we'll get through it in a minute but i don't know any of this stuff so i'm probably not going to keep it and it's going to go straight to the charity shop so it does feel really kind of like wasteful with these welcome boxes i think they should theme the welcome boxes around which sort of box that you subscribe to that would make a lot of sense so we've got teenage mutant ninja turtles are you a comic book you are a comic book so we've got a teenage mutant ninja turtles i do know those me and my brother used to watch teenage mutant ninja turtles growing up it's quite a nice thing if you're into comics would i have bought it though no ew no idea no idea mm. Mm. I... it's one of those kind of like metal posters and they have like little clear acrylic stands for it to go on but they just kind of look and feel really cheap i'm not even going to open that then we've got magic the gathering this is a game to be fair the artwork's quite pleasant but this is just like a promo thing look at the code and redeem now and download it at whoever wants that code you can have it i'm not going to use it i don't know what it is mothman oh it's mothman okay don't like moths i've just seen how realistic it looks on the back <laughs> but that's it that's everything honestly the only thing that i want to keep from the welcome crate is probably literally the dice and the bottle opener everything else it's gonna get given to charity to hopefully find a better home i am a little bit disappointed they didn't make it very clear that it was just gonna be a loot crate welcome box I thought it was going to be a Wisting World welcome box, which I thought was a new thing that they were doing for new Wisting World subscribers. Alas, it was not that, and it was just kind of like what seems to be a lot of stuff that they need to get rid of, maybe. That's my best guess, because that would kind of make sense. Like, you don't want to waste the stock, but you don't want, you can't, maybe you can't sell the stock, so it's 
more of a kind of incentive to subscribe to one of their crates is, oh, you get a welcome box as well as your first crate. That's kind of good value for £29. Bit sad, well, not a bit sad, quite a lot sad. I was like, oh, another Wizarding World box, yay. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go find homes for the bits and bobs that I'm keeping like this. And I guess I'll see you next time, but please do. Sound off in the comments down below. What are your honest opinions? I would love to know. And I guess I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Also, if you did enjoy this video and you've got this far, please do give it a magical thumbs up as it really helps out. And I will see you next time. Bye. Mm. <laughs>